Hello, this is Joseph from Gorilla3. In this tutorial on Java, we're going to be learning about more about arrays. Um, so, before we begin working, we're going to go ahead and define an array right here. It's going to have to be static so we can access it within the main function. So, public static integer. Let's have an integer, an array of an integer. And let's name these light bulbs. So we have it defined up here, or set up to be defined. And then we'll go ahead and create light bulbs. So we do light bulbs equals new int. And let's say there's 10 currently. So there's a max of 10 light bulbs. And let's go ahead and assign the first one 65. Alright, now let's go ahead and let's say we wanted to add another light bulb. So instead of 10, we want to have 10 max or 11 max. So we do light bulbs and equals new int 11. And let's go ahead and print our first light bulb that we had. So we do system.out.print line. And then we're going to do integer dot to string, and then we put in our integer, which is light bulbs. And it was the first one that we used. All right. So for now, if we try to print this out, it's going to give us a nice little error because I forgot the S. All right. So. Go ahead and reprint this, and it gives us zero. The reason why it gives us zero, not 65, is because when we define the new light bulbs, we actually lost our existing variables. The only way to do this um, would be to recreate and then reiterate your existing. So let's go ahead and remove this. Let's just remove it up to 65. All right, let's create another public static. But this time it will be a function that we're defining, and it will be void since we are not returning nothing. And let's name this function add bulb. And it's going to be an integer that we require <coughs> for the input. So integer bulb. Create our brackets and let's go ahead and start. The first thing we need to do is get the length of the existing array that we have. So let's do int length equals uh, light bulbs dot length, and that tells us the current length of light bulbs. And the next thing we're going to do is create the new array that we're going to use. So n light bulbs. Um, Actually, it would need to be int, int um, brackets light bulbs equals new int, and then we do length plus one. All right. So oh, I forgot the semicolon. So now the next thing we're going to do is create the for loop. So we do four brackets and int. Let's name this n for the number no, for a number. And say this equals zero. Then while int while n is less than the length of the light bulbs, which is defined on top, we do n plus plus. So now we just do n light bulbs, or actually be n underscore light bulbs. And we go ahead and say which uh, element that we want to pick from. So we're going to do n, because all this does is increment each length that we have. Would equal light bulb n. So now we're just reassigning each variable that we currently have in light bulbs to to new to the new light bulb. 
and then we add the new light bulb that we want. So we do underscore and light bulb, and in, instead of typing in, since we don't know the exact number, we can actually use the length on top, which would be the last array number for the newer array. So we do equal bulb. And the last thing we do is assign light bulbs, since we don't need that no more, um, with the newer light bulbs. So now we have um, 65 on there that we had for our first light bulb. And then say we want to extend the light bulb. So we do light bulbs. Actually, we actually just do add bulb. And say 45. And now if we do system.out.println. And we print the length of the new light bulbs that we have defined. It should print out to 11. So we do integer, since we have to convert it to a string, dot to string. And let's say um, light bulbs dot length. So now if we run this, it should give us out 11 instead of 10. And there you are, and there's 10. Now instead of actually doing um, all this just to add one extra element to your array, you can import java.util.arraylist. Alright, so instead of all this, we can actually just do, um, let's do a second one here, let's do public static array list. Um, and then we can just, just name this bulbs for now. Alright, so instead of all this, we can actually just do, oh, we're gonna, we gotta redefine here, so let's do, um, bulbs equals new array list. And um, so now let's say we want it to add an existing or add a new integer to your array list. So you do bulbs dot and then we get our objects that we can have here. So we can add an integer or an object so let's go ahead and add an integer, say 65. And then if we go ahead and do the same thing up here, and print out the length of bulbs, and instead of length we'll be using, we're using size. So it actually returns the size of the uh, array, the array list. Alright, so we go ahead and remove this. And then we go ahead and play, or not play, but compile. And it tells us there is um, one for the current array. Um, so again, if we just add, if we just duplicate this a couple times. going to give us five now since we have five up there so that's an easier way of creating dynamic arrays